Okay, so let's move on. Here's our key of G sharp major with its eight sharps. Let's number the notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're in a circle of fifths, so we count one, two, three, four, five. Take that fifth note, and that becomes our next key in the sequence. D sharp major. So again, let's draw a stave. Whee! Double, treble clef. And we'll keep the, the key signature we've already got from the previous key, because remember we're always building on the previous key in the circle. So that was father, Charles, goes, down, and, enters, battle, father. Once round father Charles and then starting to go around father Charles again. That's how we do it. But now let's put the notes in from D sharp upwards. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Letter names. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. And then make sure that these uh, sharps are already in there. Father. Charles goes down and enters battle father. And now again we'll check the intervals between each note. So between D-sharp and E-sharp, we've got a tone. Between E-sharp and F-double-sharp, bit of a brain strain this one. Remember, E-sharp sounds the same as F. So F to F-double-sharp will again be a tone. Each sharp's worth a semitone. F double sharp sounds the same as G, so from G to G sharp is just a semitone. G sharp to A sharp tone. A sharp to B sharp. Another slightly awkward one that A to A sharp, A sharp to B, it's a semitone, B to B sharp is a tone, so it's a tone. B sharp to C sharp, remember B sharp sounds the same as C natural. So C to C sharp is a semitone, C sharp to D sharp a tone. Once again, if we put that up against our major scale formula, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, we see it goes wrong in exactly the same place. And by now this should be no surprise. And again, the solution is to simply add another sharp here. So in this case we've got a C double sharp. That moves that note away from that one, making that one a tone. Moves it closer to that one, making that a semitone. So now we've got tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Okay. Um, so the key of C sharp, bigger pardon, the key of D sharp major, has nine sharps, including an F double sharp and a C double sharp. Uh, it's beginning to get a little bit crowded here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sharps in the key of D sharp major. Okay, so I've written this out again a little more neatly at the top of the board here. I want you to notice that the order of double sharps is already hauntingly familiar. Father, Charles. So this begins to give us some prediction about where this is going. Um, let's quickly work through the next couple of keys. So far we've got this. 
So let's get on with the key of A sharp major, which is our next. Oops, one, two, three, four, five. Next key in the, the sequence. So one, two, three, four, five lines, treble clef, father, Charles. Goes down and enters battle, Father Charles. That's as far as we've got so far. Uh, but we're going to predict really that this is going to have uh, one more sharp in. Father Charles goes, I reckon it's going to have a double G sharp in. So let's just test this. Let's put A, we'll come right down here, I think, for A. B, C, D, E, F, G, A. No names. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Key signature. Father Charles goes down and enters. Battle, Father, Charles, and I've come to the seventh note with the extra double sharp there on the G for goes. So um, let's just check that that works out okay. Between A sharp and B sharp, we've got a tone. Between B sharp and C double sharp, we've got a tone. And the B sharp sounds like C. C double sharp sounds like D. So between D and D sharp, there'd obviously just be a semitone. D sharp to E sharp is a tone. E sharp sounds like F. So between F and F double sharp, obviously a tone. F double sharp to G double sharp is a tone. And G double sharp, sounding a lot like A, will give us a semitone up to the A sharp. So there you go, that checks out. Tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Again, we take the fifth, one, two, three, four, five, and our next key in the sequence will be E sharp. So let's uh, make our stave. We treble clef, loads of shops. Father Charles goes down and enters battle. Father Charles goes, and we'll predict that the next one will be a D sharp there. Father Charles goes down. So, key of E sharp, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Letter names, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. And key signature, father. Always do it in the same order, it's just a good discipline. Charles goes down and enters battle. Where are we? Father, Charles, goes, and stop at note 7. So there we go. Um, and let's check it out. E sharp to F double sharp. It's a tone. F double sharp to D double sharp. Tone. D double sharp to A sharp. Semitone. A sharp to B sharp. Tone. B sharp to C double sharp. Tone. C double sharp to D double sharp. Tone, D double sharp to E sharp, semitone. Okay, now I'm just going to clear that back up to the top of the board. So, here we are with our refreshed, neatly drawn out key of E sharp major, with its 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 sharps, all beginning to get a bit silly at this stage. 
but we relentlessly keep the same process going. One, two, three, four, five. Takes us to B sharp. Now, we're going to kind of shortcut the process here. Uh, I think you've been through this enough times now to know, know the procedure for the other keys. But this one, I'm just going to jump straight to the end result. That had 11 sharps, so we'll know that this will have 12 sharps. So there's our B sharp. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Father. Charles goes down and enters battle. Father Charles goes down and stop there because I've come to note seven. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 sharps. It really is beginning to get ridiculous. So now we come to what I find the most strangely satisfying part of this whole procedure. Let's look at each of these notes in turn and think of alternative names for them. So B sharp sounds the same as C. C double sharp. Sounds the same as D. D double sharp sounds the same as E. E sharp sounds the same as F. F double sharp sounds the same as G. G double sharp sounds the same as A. A double sharp sounds the same as B. Back to B sharp sounds the same as C. So when you play the key of B sharp major, the notes you're hearing are identical to the very lovely simple key of C major with no sharps and no flats. Call me a uh, strangely sad old so-and-so but that's very um, very satisfying somehow it's one of the, the nicest parts of music theory the sense that things were getting out of control and getting very very complicated ever more shots but then suddenly it all comes back to the key of c so we truly have come full circle now i more or less promised you at the beginning of this lesson that Although this stuff about double sharps is of great practical use to you when you're studying music theory, you won't ever come across double sharp key signatures in written music, most unlikely. So in the final lesson in this series on key signatures, we'll explore why that is, we'll explain why that is, as we explore the inner circle. I hope that all sounds suitably mysterious enough to entice you to join me for that final lesson. Look forward to seeing you then.